Hello again. In this lesson, we are going to talk about using images on Prezi. As you remember, Prezi has this very easy structure for creating presentations where you have containers of information, which are topics. You can review all these in the topics uh, lesson. And then stuff that you can put inside. In this case, we are going to work with images. So click on insert and then an image. There are several different ways to include an image into a Prezi presentation. The first option is add from my library. There is a lesson about my library that I suggest that you review. So you will learn how to save images or entire structures or icons or shapes to your library and then use them in the presentation. To use it, just click in the image and it will appear or otherwise drag and drop where you want it. There is also the option to search for images in Unsplash. Unsplash is in partnership with Prezi and they provide royalty-free images. The note of caution, uh, make sure that you review the copyright the royalty set for the images that you are using. Those on Unsplash, I believe, but you need to check for your project if it's appropriate, are royalty free. There is a huge library of images and you can also search for a specific thing, for example, a mobile phone. Of course, you can also upload an image from your computer. I have a few assets ready to work with. All these assets are available in the assets lesson where you can find and download uh, different images that we prepared for this course. However, it's better if you use your own images so you can create your own presentation with your own con content. So let's add a JPG image, which is similar to the one that we already have as the logo for our presentation. A note on formats. You can use JPG and PNG formats. PNG have a transparent background. You can see when I drag this image and I place it on top of other elements, I can see the background of the presentation because the background of the image is transparent. When we include the JPG, the background is not transparent, is the color of the background, depending on the image itself. And these are the two formats, which is all we need on Prezi. And the difference between these two formats is that PNG can have transparent backgrounds and JPG is the most uh, widespread format in the internet. Let's delete this one because we already have it here. So we will delete it. We will position this somewhere here. We will delete this image. And another way to insert images on a Prezi presentation is you can copy them from, for example, a website or a PowerPoint or another Prezi. You just choose your image, okay, copy, go back to the Prezi and paste. Remember that you can only paste with the keyboard. In the case of Windows, it's Control V, like Victor or Venus, to paste, and Control C to copy. So I'm hitting in my keyboard Control V. Now I just copy and paste the image from any other source. There is another way to share, to copy and paste images from one Prezi presentation to another, and is using the library. From any other presentation, you can right click and add to my library, okay? 
And from, from wherever I'm, I'm working, in any other presentation, uh, in my desktop uh, software or on the cloud, if I add from my library, I will find the image that I just added. So I could be doing this from another presentation, and it works. There are some additional edit options, which are the advanced image editing. And we will talk about that in the advanced lesson of this course. And we can also crop an image. Crop is super simple. We will choose a portion of we will choose a portion of the image. Um, when we crop it, we keep the visual of only a section of the presentation. A word of caution with this method is that the images, when you crop, instead of using the advanced image editing option, when you crop an image, the full image is stored in the presentation. You can crop it larger, because Prezi preserves the full image. When you are working with several high resolution images and you are using only portions of each image, your presentation will be heavier because those are heavyweight images of which you are using only a portion. Check the advanced images with Prezi lesson to find a workaround for this too. I am hitting on my keyboard Control C, like Zebra, to undo the latest changes. Okay, this is it for the basic uh, image editing, uh, manipulating in Prezi. Take a look to the advanced lesson because I have pretty cool stuff to share with you.